The media often says that, that forests are destroyed after a major wildfire, but that's anything but the truth. We found with all our work driving around after these fires that there was such a positive story to be found in all the work that we were doing. So these forests, the way they were recovering was absolutely remarkable. We certainly had some surprises after the fires. Some of the rainforest species that people always assume die if fire hits them, things like Myrtle Beach, the Nothophagus, came back spectacularly well. One of the things that's really interesting about these kinds of scientific studies in these recently burnt areas is the things that turn up that are really surprising. And for example, we have populations of red cat robins, scarlet honey eaters, white browed wood swallows, animals that have never been recorded in these kinds of forests previously, and certainly not in the last 27 years since we've been working there. And that's just been an extraordinary outcome. We were in just a few months after the fire passed and we just started taking photos straight away and recording some really interesting things. So we felt it was a positive story coming out of all of our work up in those fire affected areas. The images of that forest regenerating and, and coppicing and, and re-sprouting, I think are, are really significant to a lot of people, particularly in the fire affected areas. A lot of local community people have, have found that really important and, and very cathartic. It's quite clear that Victoria has dealt with a major traumatic event, the most serious fire event in the history of Australia. But there's real messages of hope, real messages of interest, real ecological surprises, which I think will really tantalise people about the forests that are less than a couple of hours drive from the centre of Melbourne. It gives a lot of people a real sense of hope.